Many things changed in Hope Valley on When Calls the Heart Season 11 Episode 2 after Lucas announced his plans to add a resort and sell his saloon, The Queen of Hearts. Elsewhere, after a mix-up, Elizabeth and Allie teamed up to throw Nathan a surprise party. Things are still moving slowly as season 11 finds its footing and how big of a role Lucas will play, but the central mystery and the blossoming relationships are intriguing. Talk about a misunderstanding. Nathan has always hated being the center of attention, yet he was convinced Ali was throwing him a surprise party instead of taking him fishing as she had planned. It put Elizabeth in an awkward position. She craved something new, possibly with Nathan, but she knew his comfort zone, so she didn't want to host a huge bash. But Nathan almost made everyone suspicious, so Elizabeth naturally felt obligated to help Ali plan the surprise party, especially with Rosemary egging her on. It was evident that Elizabeth cared for Nathan, but she was unsure if it was her place to throw the party. But Ali did not stop once she started planning it. It was the happiest Ali had been since Nathan had returned from Capital City, a fact that relieved both Elizabeth and Nathan. Nathan thought Ali had pulled away, so he would do whatever he could including attend a large birthday party if it made her smile. It seemed like Nathan and Elizabeth shared a fraught, intense moment alone outside the party, where he almost confessed his feelings, but they were interrupted again. While their relationship shouldn't be rushed, these interruptions get tiresome. Lucas Bouchard always had big ideas, and his latest one, adding a resort to Hope Valley, stirred up the town. Building a resort that size would bring more work, which would benefit Lee and the mill, but Rosemary was worried about how busy he'd be. Rosemary has always been passionate and dramatic but usually doesn't pick fights with Lee for missing a lunch date. Seeing more about how Lee and Rosemary balance their career and married life was refreshing, and that even the happiest couples become overwhelmed. Part of Rosemary's mood was attributed to Randall Rockwell getting another scoop before her. She was convinced that there was more to Lucas's attack, but he claimed not to remember anything. Rosemary was like a dog with a bone trying to get information out of Bill, but while he had suspicions, he didn't have any proof. Combining Rosemary's investigative journalism skills with Bill's law capabilities would be a winning matchup. Those parallel scenes of Rosemary, Lee, Bill, and Henry discerning the evidence were among the best scenes because they were both determined to learn the truth. When Lucas announced he wanted to sell the Queen of Hearts, Lee became overwhelmed with preparing the paperwork. While people hated the saloon initially, the restaurant and hotel banked lots of money now, mainly thanks to Mike. Mike was so passionate about his ideas that I suspected he would end up running the place. I wasn't expecting Lee to offer to purchase it, but it made perfect sense. Rosemary initially hated the idea since she thought Lee wanted to work more hours. Lee appreciated suitable investments and knew that Mike was the only person who knew how to the Queen of Hearts with the knowledge and passion it deserved, but he didn't have the money to buy it himself. We can't wait to see this new development in action. Spring was in the air, and new relationships and chances blossomed. Ever since Maisu arrived in town, she's been cautious with relationships after her past with her controlling ex, Jeffrey Lewis. Even though Mike is kind and the opposite of Jeffrey, it still frightens her when things become more serious, and other people, like Bill, joke that they act like a married couple. Unconsciously, May probably feared that he might expect something in return for all the nice things he had done for her since she hadn't been in a healthy relationship. Even though Faith hadn't been in a relationship lately, she was able to help her friend. The couple can proceed now that May's fears are out in the open. It will be interesting to see if it'll be a slow courtship or a faster one since creator and executive producer Bill Bird teased a wedding during When Calls the Heart season 11, and they're both secure in their careers now. Faith also has more purpose in her life. During When Calls the Heart Season 11 Episode 1, Faith felt aimless because her friends had partners or families. Then Mrs. Watson collapsed, and she was given temporary guardianship of her granddaughter, Lily. Watching Faith adjust to a young child has been entertaining. She needed that burst of love and energy as much as Lily needed an extended family. Naturally, Lily is worried about who will take care of her. Still, she has inherited several honorary aunts, and caring for someone else distracts Faith from how much she misses Fiona. She's made an excellent foster mother, and hopefully, the series continues to explore this arc since Faith didn't picture herself as a mom initially, and she has so much love to share. Lucas's return was unexpected. Hopefully, he's only there to oversee the sale of the Queen of Hearts and confer with Lee and Bill about creating the resort. 
We don't need a redo of the Lucas, Elizabeth, and Nathan love triangle. All three characters deserve someone who will give them their whole heart, and hopefully, Lucas finds that. He should be in Hope Valley more often because the series doesn't seem the same, with only a few phone calls. While his initial connection was with Elizabeth, Lucas has built strong connections. What did you think of Tomorrow Never Knows, Hardys? Are Bill and Rosemary on the right track? Did Lee make a wise business decision? Were you excited to see Lucas in Hope Valley? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so let us know in the comments below.